Joining me now from Southern California, fellow in business and economics for the Pacific Research Institute, Damon Dunn. Uh, Damon, this worries me. It really does. I, and sometimes I lose sleep over it, literally. Uh, this movement towards socialism, in particular, this universal basic income that they're talking about here, it, it kind of segues with um, health care for all, universal health care, if you will, universal college tuition, universal family leave, and now the universal income. It's government. It's government supplying all this, but in reality, it's taxpayers. And in reality, over all of this, it's just pure socialism. And we know from history's sake, it doesn't work. Well, I like the fact that you went to history's sake, because if you look at uh, World War II, the Soviet Union, uh, they had East uh, Germany. What happened? Yeah. Soviet Union put uh, Kim Jong-un's uh, grandfather in charge of North Korea. Look what happened. Look what's happened in Venezuela. Look what's happened in Cuba. There are no examples where socialism or communism has actually worked. We see what's happening in Greece. And the people that are offering this, they're not required to be able to show anywhere in the world where this has worked. And on the contrary, capitalism has released the greatest amount of wealth in world history. The United States has created more GDP and even uh, states that used to be communist states, they have went ahead and put in capitalist systems and look what's happened. And look what happened in South Korea. Look what's happened in Japan. Look yeah. what happened in Germany. And so there hasn't been anywhere in history where socialism and communism has worked. And I think the young people just don't understand history. And I want to talk about that in a minute, but we're regressing almost. And, and, and if Bernie Sanders could go out there on the campaign trail and no one challenges. I haven't seen anybody challenge uh, this ideology that really runs counter to the United States constitutions. But here we have Stockton, California, uh, that is now implementing this basic universal income. And they're doing it, we should note, with uh, private money right now. But really, this is just the socialist heroin. This is like the heroin dealer giving you a little bit of drugs. <laughs> and, then, and then once, you know, you're hooked, you're hooked. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I call it slavery. It's the modern day slavery. They've taken off the shackles and the chains, uh, and now they're shackling your mind. Because my grandparents, I grew up, I was eating government cheese. We were on free and reduced lunch. Uh, we were on welfare, and we used to look at monthly what was our income so that we could remain eligible. So the incentive right. is to hold us down, and then you get trapped because if you get one dollar above the threshold, you no longer qualify for these requirements. So people are getting enslaved by their minds, and and they're pimping the people. They're going to people and saying, "Listen, we're going to give you this money, so vote for us." And the thesis that it's going to move people out of poverty is a lie. How do I know that? Because I was poor. There were ten of us living in a three-bedroom trailer. You know, and we couldn't have had $500, and that would not have made a difference for us to get out of poverty. So they're not even really trying to get people out of poverty. At best, no. they can say they're offering income assistance, but they certainly will never move anybody out of poverty. Not one single person will move out of poverty, nor will they track it long enough uh, to be able to demonstrate that. They'll take a few good little stories. Well, look, I used some money for, uh, for sending my kid to school or for child care, and here's something that was good. But they won't track it long enough to get results. It'll be empathetic, uh, but it won't be effective. And, and this notion that it'll create jobs is, again, you know, the guy needs to be challenged because uh, ask Finland and ask Canada. They experimented with this basic universal, universal income nonsense, and they dropped it because, of course, it didn't work. But when we look at this in, through the prism of the United States, this is an attack on liberty. This rapes individualism in this country, and, and it creates everyone in this kind of vanilla uniform, lopsteck kind of uh, image of, 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 of the loss of individualism in, in this country. And I, I believe firmly that socialism in this country uh, is eating away at liberty like a cancer. Uh, and, and, and it's unfortunate because it, mostly it's permeating young people. And young people in this country right now, 49% according to an Axios poll, would prefer to live in a socialist country. That's stunning, but listen to the rest of these numbers. 67% support tuition-free college. 73% support universal uh, health care. To me, I want to hear your take on this. To me, this shows the shortcoming of, of our school system, frankly, our educational system. If this many young people are embracing socialism, yeah, I agree. I think that people, first, they don't know history. We talked about that a little bit. And secondly, they're not required to be responsible to any budget. They can just go out and say, we can live on a dollar twenty of expenses and 90 cents of revenue. They don't have to point to any government where it's actually worked. And for too long, people have gotten rid of the element that 
the individual is responsible for their own achievement. How do I know this? Presidents and governors have come and gone, and they never put a roof over our head. They never, you know, gave me a new car. I didn't move out of poverty. Barack Obama was president, and the same people that were poor when he took office, they were poor when he left office. Individual achievement comes down to what the individual is going to accomplish, and the rules are different. You get what you can take in this world. You keep what you can hold. No one's going to give you anything. I did. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.